Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a very, very quick haul. I've gotten a few pre-orders in, and I've also gone to the bookstore um, twice, and this has eight books in it. So I thought that I would just do a quick haul, talk about some of the books I got, and just unbox some of my pre-orders. And take you guys along. All right, well, let's start. So this is not like an order in which I got them. I honestly have just been saving them for this video. All right, so the first one is Finley Donovan Jumps the Gun. So I talked about this in my pre-order video a few videos ago. And so this is Finley Donovan Jones the Gun by L. Cosimano. It's the third in a series. The first two are Finley Donovan is Killing It and Finley Donovan Knocks Him Dead. So this is basically like a like comedy mystery romance thriller. I don't know if there's romance in this one, but it's so much like Dial A for Aunties. And in this one, basically all three books are like based on this girl Finley and she keeps like getting herself into these weird situations and in this one she gets herself like caught up with some like Russian mob or something like that like Finley is a single mom like divorcee like it's kind of just like following her kind of life um the concept kind of reminds me of like the show good girls where like they're all like moms and like kind of just getting themselves into a mess but yeah it's kind of like that concept so i'm really excited for this and me and my best friend are gonna probably like buddy read the entire series and The next one is As Good As Dead by Holly Jackson. So this, it's a pre-order even though it came out like a while ago, but I pre-ordered the paperback because I have the first two in paperback and I wanted the last one. Um, so if you don't know, this is the third book in the A Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. And that series basically follows Pip and people, like she's in high school and people around her are like dying and she's trying to help figure out kind of like what happened. And so in this third one, I think it's like her who's kind of being targeted instead of like someone close to her, someone she knows. So I'm really excited for this because I've literally been wanting to read this like since the hardcover came out, but I was waiting for the paperback. So I'm probably going to read this like next month because I'm very excited. Alright, last pre-order. Let me know if you guys want like more pre-order videos because it's kind of fun like not pre-order videos but like unboxing my pre-orders because i do pre-order a lot of my books just because you get extra points and i think that maybe it'd be a good video to them in. final offer by lauren asher so this is the third book in the fine print series not the final print series sorry the dreamland billionaire series i'm so excited actually really thick but this one follows callahan and alana I'm so excited for this these books are so pretty i'm so excited this is actually kind of like a cute little vibe with the stack all right moving on to my i don't even know what to call this um i was feeling sad and went to the bookstore twice in one week and bought way too many books Anyway, alright, in no particular order, the first one is Neon Gods by Katie Robert. So this is part of a series. However, from my understanding, the first one is about Persephone and Hades, and then the second one is about like two other gods, and the third one. So it's like different each one. But I'm really excited for this. It was in the spicy section. So I think that this is gonna be really good and i love a good like hades and persephone retelling and i wanted more like kind of greek mythology and like greek myth romances like fantasy romances so i think i'm gonna probably enjoy this series because it doesn't just follow them like it follows other greek god couples as well 
so yeah neon gods by katie robert the next one i picked up was icebreaker by hannah grace i'm extremely excited for some reason i saw this all over like tiktok and book talk and booktube this winter and i was like okay february is like literally my last chance to read this and i'm very excited i'm probably just gonna add that to my february tbr even though i've already made my february tbr but that's okay if you don't know basically this girl anastasia has been trying to like go for team usa and she gets a full scholarship to the University of California and lends a place on their figure skating team. But then, like, she meets this guy, Nate Hawkins, who's, like, the captain of the hockey team. And his focus is to keep his team on the ice. And, like, they have to share a rink, so it creates a conflict between them. And, like, they can't really stand each other. So it sounds like, basically, that, like, she has a skating competition, like, something happens to her partner, and I guess she needs to, like, ask this guy, Nate, like, the hockey captain, for help, and then, like, sparks fly, and, like, all that stuff. So, I don't know, I heard that this was really good. I'm not sure if it's a YA. Let me double check. So it seems like it's an adult fiction, so that's something to keep in mind. But, yeah, I think it's part of a series. They're gonna make, like, a hockey something series it's the ucmh series so. icebreaker by hannah grace the next one is kind of like on the same theme um from lukov with love by mariana zapata so this is going to be like my first mariana zapata book i've heard a lot about her and i don't know i'm kind of excited the cover was really cute i know there's multiple covers for this but i really like this one so i picked this one up but yeah it's an enemies to lovers and like she's trying to be a figure skater and then she gets an offer from an arrogant idiot basically ivan lukov and it sounds like they fall in love so it's a slow burn which is i know a lot of people don't like slow burn but i like it if the payoff is worth it which hopefully Alright, the next one, and I can't believe that I haven't read this yet, is The Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren. So I, like, I think it's just that I've picked up so many books that I haven't, like, had time to read. And this one just slipped my radar for so long, and I knew about it and I wanted to read it. So I'm very excited to read it finally. Basically, this girl is trying to find, like, her perfect match through, like, an online, like, DNA-based matchmaking system which is supposed to use like real data to make a match so she got a 98 percent compatibility with this doctor and basically they have to like try it out and like date each other and see like how it goes and then like you know from there what happens happens but yeah i'm really excited for this and this specific edition comes with it says like a bonus paperback it says it has an exclusive epilogue and an excerpt from the next Christina Laura novel. Anyway, yeah, so I'm really excited for this. Hopefully, I'm going to read it very soon. Like, very, very soon. The next one is Twisted Lies by Anna Huang. So, I got the first book for myself, and then my brother bought me the second and third, and I just kind of, like, I saw it at the bookstore the other day, and I bought it. And now I have the whole series, so I'm just gonna read the entire series. And this is the fourth one and last one. And yeah, I'm very excited for this to be honest because it's so overhyped. <laughs> I hope it's not overhyped, but it's hyped up. So I'm hoping that all of these are really good because I need like a really good romance to just kind of ground me, you know what I mean? All right, the next one everyone has been talking about it's by a thread by lucy score so i really want to read this i've heard that it's really good i'm probably gonna read this this february because i just like i i need to like i it, first of all it's pink it's so cute for valentine's day and just like at the same time it's a grumpy boss like romantic comedy <laughs> and like the synopsis is so cute because like dominic is saying like a whole spiel and then Ali just says, ha, hold my beer, charming. Like, how cute. I have a feeling the banter is going to be really good. Yeah, so I think this one's going to be really good. I'm very excited. And literally, I've seen it all over TikTok and, like, BookTube. And I think Sarah Carol... Carol... 
I need to know how to say her name like immediately. This is not acceptable. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. I've just never said her name out loud, I realized. Caroli. Sarah Caroli like recommended it and then like I just kept seeing it everywhere and like any book she reads I enjoy so I have a feeling that I'm gonna love this. I just have like stacks of books stacking up around me. I'm sorry. The second to last one is another Lucy score book. So I picked this up because I just, you know, I did that pre-order video where I talked about, um, okay, this one's things we never got over. The next one is, oh, I don't even know. What is it? Things we hide from the light. Sorry. So I talked about things we hide from the light and like I was talking about how like I never read this and everybody's read it and I'm like, you know what? No more excuses. Like, I'm picking it up. I'm putting it on my TBR. I'm gonna read it. And that's it. We're gonna read it. And I'm gonna love it, I think. I have, like, it's, it, it is it is a chunker. Like, it's kind of a chunky romance, if I'm being honest. It's like 500-something pages, which is a long kind of book. So, but I'm very excited. We enjoy long books here. I'm excited. He's absolutely not falling for the good girl. Like, Ooh, I love that when they're like resisting. That's gonna be good. So I'm telling John, especially in the form of stranded runaway bride. This actually sounds kind of crazy. I'm excited. All right, the last book. So I picked this up because I was like, I need something that's gonna um, fuel my brain as well and not just entertain me. So I picked up The Hate You Give, and this was recommended to me by like my coworker, and she said it was really good and kind of explained the concept and i was like i think this is really important for me well for anybody to read really um and it became a film too so i kind of want to watch the film but i wanted to read it first but it's been literally nominated for so many awards like and won so many awards the william c morris award the national book award it was named a michael l prince honor book a coretta scott king author honor book and the boston globehorn book award winner yeah like a lot of and it has it, the accolades like on the cover too and it also comes with an anti-racism guide which is really awesome so i definitely recommend if you're looking for something that's just like like it is fiction so it's easier to kind of like grasp versus a non-fiction book just like talking on topics of race i know that i'm probably gonna cry when i read this but that's totally fine to be honest it's worth it to gain the knowledge and like understanding the hate you give by angie thomas i'm probably gonna pick up her other books too she's written like two other books maybe three that are on like the same kind of um concept so yeah anyway that is all of the books in this book haul that i bought there was 11. it's pretty bad well it's not too bad we'll see you in the next one though it was really fun let me know if you want more book hauls i was gonna vlog when i was at the bookstore but it was so busy and i'm not really that comfortable like filming in public yet so I'm probably going to try and do it one time soon, but maybe just like use my phone instead of my camera and do it like low key. But yeah, anyway, like, comment and subscribe. Comment down below like what you want to see. Was, do you have any of the books that I hauled here? Leave me some book recommendations. I like that like people are getting to watch like kind of like what kind of books I like and then maybe you guys can recommend me some based off of what you're seeing that I'm buying. But yeah, anyway, I hope you guys have a good day, week month whenever you're watching this and i'll see you guys next time